Hi everyone, it's Merc007. Thank you for joining my board game video. This year I've been helping some indie creators in Japan, including indie creator Phantom Lab. Today I'd like to introduce you to one of her games, Aquanism, a fun indie game from Japan that is getting an international release. Please enjoy! Aquanism is a 2-4 player tile placement game designed by Phantom Lab. Phantom Lab is a female indie designer from Japan. She has made many indie games and is preparing an international edition of Aikonism to be launched on Kickstarter. This video is based on the Japanese first edition. This is the one I bought at the game market in December. The new international version will have new component updates, the rulebook will have more languages, and possibly more. I haven't seen the new updates yet, but I'm looking forward to it. In Acornism, the cute forest animals are gathering acorns in autumn to help them through the cold winter season. This game plays in about 15 to 20 minutes, and it's played in an 8x8 space grid. Depending on how the tiles are laid out, the grid can grow in either direction until it reaches the 8x8 size. The game ends once all players are unable to place any more tiles. Whomever has the high score from the forest animals that were completely surrounded by acorns wins. Let's take a look at the tiles. Each tile consists of a forest animal space and an acorn space with a number of acorns on it. The acorn space can also have zero acorns. The forest animal has a number here. This is the number of acorns that the forest animals are searching for. To set up the game, shuffle all the tiles face down and form a pile. Each player then draws four tiles and places them face up in front of them. Everyone can see each other's tiles. Then draw one tile and place it face up on the centre of the table. That is the starting tile. In a 3-4 to four player game, each player takes one set of Autumn Leaf Tokens. In a 2 player game, each player can take two sets of Autumn Leaf Tokens. Then play Rock Scissors Paper to start and the winner is the first player. Play goes clockwise. How to play. Players are trying to surround the forest animals on all four directions, up, down, left and right, with the exact number of acorns they require. On a player's turn, they select one of their four tiles and place it on the table next to another tile. Acorn spaces can only be placed next to animal spaces, and animal spaces can only be placed next to acorn spaces. You can only place the tile if the acorns don't exceed the animal's requirements. In this example, you can't place the tile here because the acorn number exceeds the requirement. In order to place the last tile to surround an animal, it must complete that animal's acorn requirements. If you successfully surround an animal with the exact number of acorns they want, you can place one of your leaf tokens on that animal. Finally, draw a new tile and reveal it. If on your turn you are unable to play a tile, you can pass. Then going clockwise, it's the next player's turn. The play area can grow in either direction. As soon as the 8th space has been placed, that determines the size of the field. Place an acorn on both sides to help mark the boundaries. Tile spaces cannot be placed outside of this boundary. Scoring. Once all players are unable to place any more tiles, the game ends. Each player adds up the number indicated on the animal tiles with their leaf token. 
and the player who has the high score is the winner. This is a fun portable tile placing game that is suitable for gamers of nearly all ages. It comes with cute animal tiles that have the names of the animals in English and in Japanese, and cute wooden autumn leaf tokens. It's a game that can be easily taken out to play at any game day, and the rules are also easy to teach. It also works well with two players. I asked about the cute artwork and found that the animal illustrations are done by the creator herself. I think this might be the first time she's showcasing her cute artwork on one of her board games. I really like the artwork in this game, and I think that's what drew me to pick up the first edition last year. I hope you have enjoyed taking a look at Aconism with me. This indie game is launching in 2024 on Kickstarter all the way from Japan. I've put the link in the YouTube description. You can also follow Phantom Lab's social media if you're interested in more of their creations. It's great to see more indie designers bring their games internationally. If you would like something new and fun to play, why not try some of these indie games coming from Japan? Thank you so much for your wonderful support as always. Please like, share or comment in my channel if you like the content. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy gaming!